learning is not a linear thing and you have to meet kids where they're at. I really value play. I really value the work that comes out of watching students play. So when you play, you take the pressure off. The importance of having that free exploratory time to delve into their interests, to grow in areas, because at those moments, they're learning how to get along with people, how to work in groups. They're doing that independently. They're creating that independence. I think the students really value their learning when they do that, like when they get to take ownership and be a part of the learning process. They really understand it more. When I first started working in a play-based program, I watched the kids and saw that they were learning so much more by exploring on their own. Okay, so yesterday, you guys remember we were changing them out? The letters, the first letter? Today we're gonna stack them on top of each other. Kids need to move. People need to move. People aren't designed to sit in a box. We weren't made that way. There's a lot of research out there that talks about how children, when they are given the space, uh, that you don't have the same, the arguments or the behavioral concerns. We do kids a disservice when we don't give them the opportunity to use and move their bodies. If you are moving, you are active, your mental health improves. If you go into the center, you'll realize how wide and vast it is. We've got the art room, the mountain room, and then the huge main lodge. We created a lot of space. Well, the outdoor classroom was created because we realized the benefits of children getting outdoors. Because there's something magical about being outside with nature that just calms them down. We also have Ginger, our wellness dog. So that is unique to our school. And Ginger comes and explores the kindergarten as well. She loves to go in the outdoor classroom. <laughs> and she loves to go into kindergarten at the end of the day when they've left treats or snacks on the floor. <laughs> I think that's something I value the most with teaching, especially our young children. Like you want them to be able to think for themselves. You want them to be able to look at a problem, see the solution, work towards it. Even if the solution didn't come out how they wanted it to, okay, what could you do differently? How could we adapt this? And I think it's so important to help them become lifelong learners and to help them become people who can solve their own problems. And sometimes you don't even see things that they saw. And they teach you and you're like, you taught me, now you're the teacher.